Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Just looking over the citrus here. And I've got a lot of Meyer lemons that are ready to pick. Also, I've got the Satsuma here. And this one has a lot of the cottony cushion scale on it. Just uh, exploded. So I was wiping it down and I'm getting a lot of leaf drop. I did put it on this mat here. But I haven't plugged it in yet uh, for bottom heat. Uh, I've been letting them dry out, but they're starting to get stressed. I think I might have to invest in a nice grow light. This smells really good. This Meyer lemon is starting to, well, it's got a lot of buds on it. I should probably go get a Q-tip and start cross-pollinating these, these flowers here. But the Satsumas are just falling off along with the leaves too, and so you can see the leaves there. What I did is I took some neem oil, and I've just been wiping it down with a cloth. But there's so many nooks and crannies on these branches here that I just might... Citrus evidently responds good to pruning, so I might uh, do some pruning on this. And some of these, I don't have enough light area. So some of these, uh, I like to try to transition into the house near a window. So I don't have to pay for the electricity. But, um, yeah, I just have these regular shop lights that are just hanging. And uh, from chains, I've got them on a timer. But there are, are a couple in the corner there that are outside of the... Uh, spread there for the light yeah but the, yeah a lot of these are just falling off as I've been cleaning so that's definitely a sign of some stress so you got these little critters here sucking the juice out of the thing too in addition to the stress of the colder uh, root mass and the lower light level so uh, if I can prune this down the container also is all uh, dried out and uh, brittle so I need to get that changed but yeah i think I'll, I'll prune this down a little bit and then i need to plug this bottom mat in and then maybe have the bottom heat there for a week or so before i try to transition this up into the drier um upstairs environment but yeah i get a lot of a lot of uh satsumas here you can see that just fell right off let me open one of these up I'm doing this with one hand, but again, you can see they're just uh, called a zipper peel because the, the peel just falls right off. Not very difficult to peel satsumas. Very juicy. I can open this up here with one hand. Mm. Very sweet. I never fail. I was surprised the first year I got fruit off of these that I was eating citrus off of my own tree. So satsumas are very, very good citrus. Um, I think they're easier to grow. Well, no, this citrus. I was going to say maybe than the Meyer lemon, but I'm consistently being able to get produce or satsuma oranges off of this thing. I brought in the ginger from this. Look at the hydraulics is just uh, warped of the pot. I'll try to bring that upstairs too. And the two little pups here. Just letting them dry out a little bit. You just put some water on the roots, but they're bare root. They get those in a couple of pots. But for now, just going over this uh, citrus. Remember this, this is the, this I can get in, this is manageable, I can get this upstairs. This is that air layer that just, in the fall, up to this point, it just took off and got dark green. Um, even before I put it in the cellar, I think when it gets dark green, that's an indication of its uh, lower light levels too. Although, I don't know, these, uh, this Meyer lemon tree here and the Satsuma next to it aren't as dark as this 
I think this was this the Trovita orange, I think. But yeah, that's manageable. I can get that into a window. But that's just that just took off. Look at all the lemons I have. And the uh, Miwok kumquats. They're about to, f I think, you know, I had a couple fall off too. They're really sour and in the middle and then the sweetness of the skin. But overall, they're, they're pretty tart. I could try one. Wow. Yeah, that'll wake you up in the morning. There's the seeds. I should try growing a couple of these. I never did. And a cluster of flowers on that. Yep. So, yeah, I think I need to invest in a nice bank of grow lights. So, this is New England Gardening. A quick update on the citrus. I'm surprised that this, uh, what is this again? Hard to get. This was usually a magnet for uh, the scale, but I pruned it all the way back. Was going to get rid of it. And uh, it, it just came back like you see it, see it right now. It just had it down to a stub. And uh, so far, so good. Because of the small leaves, it's just difficult to treat the scale. It's, it's looking good. I didn't see any scale on it. Looking for any telltale signs. And if I have to, I'll just prune it all the way back again. Oh, is this the Sinoto? Something like that. Well, yeah, I should have probably looked that up before I commented on it. But Shinoto. Yeah, the Shinoto. Uh, it's for cooking, Japanese cooking, I guess. But yeah, that, I don't know if I did the video on. I really just really pruned that all the way back to a stub and came back in full force here. I see a flower down there. So the New England gardening with the citrus in the cellar, not ideal conditions. I'm trying to knock down some of this uh, cottony cushion scale. Oh, just one last thing. These are a couple of. Satsumas off of this uh, Four Winds Growers tree. There's two on here. I really pruned this back. And uh, they're pretty big. Bigger than the, the other ones. So these are produced also. And here's the harvest. That's a lot. Thanks for watching. And here are all the lemons. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these lemons. <laughs>